Well, good morning and welcome to uh, Buttermere. We are just on the road up to Newland Pass. We couldn't get parked down the bottom, so we're uphill. Today we're going up Red Pike, and then we're going to go further across to Starling Dodd, which I've not done, and Great Bourne, which also I've not done. So, and then come back down this valley over here. It's up there first. I've done that before years ago which is a good walk so I'm going to walk all along the top so John's ready to rock and roll dogs are going rad Wednesday the 11th of May 2016 a bit breezy but it's warm conditions so we're ready for a good walk let's crack on well here we are walking along the uh, path just out of the village itself and bottom here Lake. Next to it, we're going to head up there. Sour milk. Very picturesque. Any words to say about this morning? <laughs> Could get sunburnt <laughs> later on. I've got factor 15 on, which is uh, really not acceptable for me, but I have got some factor 40 in the bag. If it does get sunnier. <laughs> Anyhow, let's crack on. Well, we've negotiated through the little forest area you now and come to uh, a star gate. That's a steep climb. It was a steep climb. Good sweat on to start the day, to say the least. So, uh, the path just follows and zigzags around now to Blueberry Town, where well, we'll probably stop and have a bite to eat. Need a bit more breeze now. Cool the start of it because it's got quite warm. It's looking not too bad. It's dried out in recent weeks after all the water cumbries had, so not bad. Want is enjoying his and penny as well. Knackered, mother? No. No. We could sweat on, like. Let's crack on. Well here we are, we've arrived at Bleaberry Town, the first goal of the day. We're going to have a bite to eat. Lovely up here. Next target's the path, which goes all the way up the top, up to Red Pike. We're not going a shortcut, I hope. We're not going up there, are we? It's not the scree. Ah, it's a sensible route. Be a bit daft doing that, wouldn't it? Yes. So, up in the Bleaberry Town, because all this will be all blue very shortly, with some blueberries. They're all starting to sprout now and around the million. So this is probably where the name came from. What a twine. Anyhow, we'll crack on and have our dinner. <coughs> well, here we are walking up from Bleavery Town now. You see it's a steep climb up on these on this path, but well, it's a good path. Easy to walk up but it's quite steep. Making our way to the top and over the ridge to the top, Red Pike. So hopefully it won't take too long. Bit of panting going on there. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be done. Well, we're up to the end of the scree area now. It's It's got windy, but it's quite steep, just loose stone rocks, so we have to take care on this area. So up to the top onto the to the ridge we'll be alright. Yeah, marvellous views. Can't argue with the views, it's beautiful. Anyway, let's crack on. Well, it's red pipe now, we've reached the top. It's a cairn, it's very windy. There's the shelter where we've come, where that gentleman's standing. So that's high style. High style bridge that way. Next oh, target, Starling Dodd. Starling Dodd over there, and it's at Great Bourne in distance. Yeah. So we've got some pile of walking to do yet, yeah, but it should be an interesting walk because I've not done these two yet. You have though. Yeah. Can't hear much at all. Excellent views all around them. Very good view. Crack on. Well, it's starting good now! 
this is where we are. It's very windy up here. Very windy. I'll try and turn round so you can hear better. There's Ennerdale in the distance here. That's where we've come from. Red Pike. So it's been a nice walk down and up again. Barely hear yourself think. Very loud. Very loud. much for calmness but it's a warm wind if it's any consolation excellent view gonna blow away <laughs> destination which top in the afternoon a nice big point again it's windy Well here we are sitting down to have our second bite to eat of the afternoon. We've just come down from Great Bourne. And this is fluting can. John's been on about this to me for absolutely ages, so it's proper nice like so. The only thing that's spoiling it is the wind, it's really, really just crap. But we've come to a little sheltered place where we can eat. It's uh, still a breeze. Got any words to say? Windy. No, you can tell by the state of his air. Looks better than it, better now than it does in the morning. It's been a cooking walk. Monty's uh, just had his tea. And Penny, well, there's a dinner. But she doesn't want it, she'd rather eat grass, which is odd. It's uh, very nice. It's very steep coming down. Very steep. Wouldn't like to walk up here, but it was just as difficult coming down because it was slippery, rocky. Just, just generally awkward. So anyhow, gonna eat, and then we'll crack on back towards what's me. Well, this is Spout Force now. Um, it's a lovely little uh, hidden gem, to say the least. Never been here before, so we've just walked along on Fluting Town. It's been quite a, a boggy walk, but a decent path. As you can see, Monty's focused on the. Uh, Erdwicks, but uh, hopefully he'll uh, stay as he is. Very, very pretty indeed. And this from Elbrick. And grass mower in the distance. Powering over everything. Nice spot this like. Very nice. And it's face off. Well, we're now back at the car, about nine miles. End of a good walk, it's been a hell of a drag, yeah. It's been a hell of a drag. It's done. Have a drag. End of a good walk, man, there. We'll end it there on the island pass. Come here, Mont. Monte, come here. Here, round here. Mont. Penny, here. Come here. In the yard. Come here. Come on, dogs get in the yard. Now get in. Get in, Monte. Just get in. Now get in. Oh, get in, son. That's it. Well, we'll leave it there. We're not going to the island. As we look down back into Butmere, beautiful evening, 
Shane Ball of Wind, another cracking walk. Until next time, that's goodbye from us.